Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, everyone. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I am going to pray some prayers from um, Prayers That Break Curses by John Eckhart. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I'm going to read the wicked plots against the godly. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray those prayers this morning. And even before then, we'll do a few regular prayers. But we're going to pray um, warfare prayers against the ungodly this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor we give you glory hallelujah hallelujah glory to the name of the lord you are worthy and worthy to be praised we thank you lord god for your goodness forever we thank you lord god hallelujah for we thank you lord god for blessing us we thank you for directing us we thank you for keeping us you are worthy Holy is the Lord and righteous is his word. We thank you, Lord God, for the gift of you, for directing our steps. Order our steps, Lord God, as we surrender our lives to you. We are not our own, but we are bought at a price. We surrender ourselves to you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you. We give you honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, forgive us of all of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Clean, cleanse us from every word, from every thought, and from every deed that we have done that wasn't pleasing to you, Lord God. Have mercy on us, Father. Forgive us. And Father, we turn away from our sins hallelujah and live hallelujah for you and lord god in those areas where you um are asking us to change mm -hmm. and to grow father i decree and declare that we are changing and growing in all areas that you have called us so that we can go to higher heights in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah glory to god bless your name lord god Hallelujah. We love and adore you, Father. Father, we forgive those who sinned against us. I decree and declare that we release it immediately and we let it go. We do not hold on to any bitterness in our heart. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, but we release it and we let it go. We give it to you, Father. And when we leave it at the altar, we will not pick it back up. Father, um, even if some of us who are feel broken or disappointed or hurt by those things that were done. Lord God, we ask, Lord God, that you heal our hearts, that you heal our minds, our souls, and our spirits, Lord God. And may our souls, hallelujah, not conquer, hallelujah, and our flesh not conquer, hallelujah, but we live by the Spirit. And may our spirit be stronger and stronger, hallelujah, that our flesh, hallelujah, won't even be able to to um to rule us father in the mighty name of jesus and we thank you hallelujah that we're growing stronger in the lord each and every day hallelujah we walk in the spirit so we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh father knows that we may have been angry by some things people have done but he said in his word to be angry and sin not Hallelujah. So we thank you, Father, that even though we were angry, we did not sin. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord God, that you have kept us from sinning. You kept us from doing the things that we want to do or that we wanted to do or that we could have done. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that by your stripes, we are all healed, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus 
And we thank you, Lord God, that you're giving us a heart like yours. A heart like yours. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, that we do not respond. Hallelujah. Or react. Hallelujah. To the wrongs that were done to us. And we thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for blessing us and strengthening us to a place of maturity in you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give our hearts, we give our minds, we give our spirits to you. We surrender all to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you. We honor you. And we pray for our enemies, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you will have your way in their life. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord God, hallelujah, that they will be stronger in you, Lord God. We pray for our enemies. We pray, Lord God, that they're healed in areas, hallelujah, that they need healing in, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, and that they will be stronger in you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we pray against the plots of the wicked. Hallelujah. In their prideful, sinful ways, the wicked plots to destroy the righteous. But you have promised that the wicked in his pride, he may persecute the poor, but let them be caught in their plots which they have devised. Lord, the wicked plots continually to cause trouble and destruction to your children. Your word says that the wicked sits in lurking places of villages, and in the secret place he murders the innocent. His eyes are secretly fixed on the helpless. Lord God, there are some people who take advantage of those who they feel are kind-hearted, or those that... That are that they feel that that they um, are helpless and people that like to manipulate others, Lord God, Lord God, we ask that you look upon these things, Lord God, and that you deliver your people and deliver your children out of the hands of those Hallelujah who are plotting wicked devices, devices, Lord God, wicked schemes, Lord God, using wicked devices in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, this describes the wicked plans of people today to spread the pain and sin, hallelujah, of, of hatred. Shine the light of your judgments upon secretive, um, liberal attempts to lure young women, young girls into decisions to abort the precious lives they carry or to stop the murder of the unborn and cast the evil practices out of America. Even those who lure young women inside of the church, Lord God, those women who are vulnerable, those women who may even be gullible, Lord God, and they may believe any and everything, Lord God, because sometimes in the church world, we want to see everyone as innocent. We want to believe that everyone has a heart for God. We want to believe that everyone's going to make the right decisions, Lord God. But Father, even those secret things that people do in and they're, and they're practicing secret things, Lord God. We ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you keep your eyes on those things, Lord God, within our church homes, Lord God. Those who will take advantage of women and, and young women, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we also ask that you give women wisdom, that you give them discernment, Father, in the name of Jesus. Everyone's life is different. Some people have discernment based off of their experiences, based off of the experiences they had in life and people they know and people who have given them instructions and people who have um, let them in on the know of the games that people play. But you have some people who are vulnerable, more vulnerable because they don't know. Because they don't have that kind. Some people just don't have that kind of heart. And so they're unfortunately, they need to learn how probably to even have more boundaries because their heart is wide open to people. So, Father, we even pray in those areas. Some people are just believe what they hear. 
They're not bad people or weak people or something's wrong with them. Lord God, we pray for their healing. We don't know what happened and the reason why they are where they are. But we pray for those, Lord God, who don't understand or realize or even see um, that they are being manipulated and played. And Father, when people do see and realize someone's trying to play games, Lord God, we ask, Lord God, that you cover them in that a spirit of retaliation. Do not fall back on them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any spirits of retaliation coming against your people for telling the truth, for for, for being um, truthful about their experiences, Lord God, and, and telling the truth about wickedness that has happened. Let there be no retaliation spirits in the name of Jesus. Lord God, all spirits and, and evil demonic powers that has um, come and crept into the church and brought about misunderstandings, misjudgments, lies, division, Lord God, and people have pointed the fingers at the wrong people, Lord God, and not at the people who actually started the problems, Father. Lord God, we ask and nullify those demonic spirits in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon formed against your children shall prosper. No weapon formed against your prophets shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, your word describes the secret agenda of ungodly liberals to bind the poor in a lifestyle of dependency on others rather than independency and self-reliance. Your word says that he lies in wait secretly as a lion in his den, and he lies in wait to catch the poor. He catches the poor when he draws him into his net, so he crouches. His He lies below. And the helpless may fall by his strength. Give us courage in America, in our households, Lord God, to become self-reliant, self-confident, and willing to be responsible for others if possible, rather than dependent on others. Lord God, you even said in your word that if a man don't work, he shall eat. Bless your people, Lord God, with jobs. Bless them, Lord God, with skills and abilities. And may they not um, fall into fear, the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. A spirit of faith, hallelujah, to go get those jobs that they desire. Even if they don't believe they qualify, it doesn't matter. Sign the application and believe and trust God in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, like the writer of Proverbs, we feel as though we have been destroyed by the wicked plots of those who want to hurt us. But like Solomon, our prayer is directed to you for your grace and mercy. We trust you, Lord, and we claim you as our God. Our life is in your hands. Save us from enemies who hunt us down. Lord God, smile upon us, your people. Have pity on us and rescue us. We pray only to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, don't disappoint us. Disappoint our cruel enemies until they lie silent in their grace. Lord God, our enemies silence them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Even if they're alive, lift our heads above our enemies, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, those who seek our destruction, those who've prayed against us, those who've talked about us, those who tried to do witchcraft, even witchcraft prayers against us, pray evil plots against us, evil things against us, prayed against our health, prayed against our beauty, prayed against our looks, prayed against our prosperity pray all against us wanting nothing but evil to come upon us Lord God in the mighty name of Jesus all retaliation spirits for those who have been been uncovered who have um, who the truth have came out about them and they want to retaliate because of their anger and their pride all those retaliation spirits and those who try to murder us, maybe not in the natural, but in the spirit. 
those who want to see us dead. Lord God, Jesus, Jesus, Father, cover us. Disappoint our cruel enemies. Silence those proud liars. Make them stop bragging and insulting your people. Lord God, you said in your word, touch not thy anointed and do thy prophet no harm. And you have some people who are prophets attacking other prophets. Father, even shame those who come up against prophets and expect unprofit to continue to be respectful. Yes, we are to submit ourselves one to another and we are to respect each other's um, giftings and anointings in the name of Jesus. But Father, those who come up against children who are coming up against children or di children who are disobedient coming up against the children who are obedient. Father, it should not be so in the name of Jesus. You said no divisions to be in the body of Christ. That you're coming for a bride without spot or wrinkle. May there be no divisions, no isms, no schisms. <coughs> in Jesus' name. <coughs> no lies and no misunderstandings. No false accusations told. Even <coughs> enemies telling lies to pastors and pastors side eyeing, side eyeing you because of what someone else said and not even hearing it from God, not even talking to God about the situation. People may come to the pastors, but even then, they're responsible to go before the God to God about the situation. They cannot jump into conclusions that people are lying and not telling the truth about their experiences or not telling the truth about things when they're when they're judging and they're making judgment. <coughs> Father, may all spiritual leaders consult you when their people are coming to them about something because you are a righteous judge Lord God let it be no judgment because <coughs> people feel they know people oh I know this person this person wouldn't do they didn't even consult you oh, father people don't know what people will do they don't know what's in people, even if they think they do. I remember Apostle Omar Martin, um, the pastor that I'm under, he even spoke one time and said, his own wife, I'll never forget this testimony because when it happened to me, people thought I was crazy. When I saw something in someone, I was like, no, something's off. You know, somebody tried to say there's demons in everybody. I don't believe that. But I believe enemy the enemy will try to use you and you have to fight against that thing. But I don't believe everyone has a demon, like demon living inside of them. Everyone that, that you have you have some who are um demonized and you have some people who are just straight um um possessed but many of us have the spirits out there trying to um, get us to sin that's a different thing but you know I remember um, Apostle Omar Mortens said his wife told him for it was a while it was I think like a few years she she talked to her husband and said there was a demon in this woman. And he said, no, 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 no. And she said, I, she saw like a witchcraft spirit. And he, he, he couldn't believe her because, hey, we prayed with this woman. <clears throat> this woman, she fasted with us, she prayed in tongues. She, she's helping, you know, helping in the ministry. When they do outreach. I mean, she was doing all of that. All of that. Everything that a good Christian.
she is supposed to do. She was doing all of that. And his wife was like, but I see something. She see a witchcraft spirit. And you'll be surprised that what's in people that everybody think that they know so well. He didn't believe it until that, that spirit finally start manifesting to him. And I loved him giving that testimony because it shows there are so many people in all kinds of positions, even in the church. And they got spirits in them that's not godly. And everybody can't see it. Even sometimes the pastors don't. They might think just because they have gifts and they could be having uh, um, prophetic gifts. They could see, hear, all of that. And it doesn't mean that they see and hear everything. Because God have other apostles, other prophets, every other people with spiritual gifts who can hear and see. I don't know for me. I don't know what kind of anointing I have. It's weird. I see demons and people that hide very well. There are many pastors, many people don't see it. And they are very well hidden. And they just manifest. Just manifest easily for me. For some reason. You know, maybe it's the anointing of, of being able to cast the spirits out. So it's they, they just manifest. They just show up. They don't even try. I talked to you guys before about the spirit. I was sitting down having lunch with a woman. And that spirit came right out of her, her head. You know, there are spirits in people that other people can't see. And so we pray that there be in the body of Christ. That pastors know how to work with their prophets. They can't say prophets are lying and prophets we pro prophets always want the truth. They uncover the lies. <laughs> and the enemy is trying to tell the pastor that the prophet is a liar. <laughs> prophets hate lying. Prophets always want the truth exposed. <clears throat> and so the enemy even tries to shut the mouth of the prophet in the church realm. And you, sometimes they say, oh, this person goes from one place to another. Prophets are looking for a place in his heart. And looking for a spiritual home is not easy for a prophet. Because one, nobody wants to be in a house full of evildoers. And then the enemy tries to shut the mouth of the prophet in the house of God. Saints of God, we must pray. That the plot of the ungodly shall not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make them all stop bragging. May they all stop insulting your people. Make them stop, Father. You are wonderful. And while everyone watches, you store up blessings for all those who honor and trust you. You are their shelter from harm of plots. Father, you are my shelter from harm of plots. And you are the one that our protection from vicious gossip. From lies. Protect me from the lies of the enemy. Protect me from the lies of those from my past. Who wanted my new to be distorted. Who feel like, oh, we dug a ditch for this person because they didn't do what we wanted them to do. Those who try to manipulate and control using witchcraft. I will praise you, Lord. Hallelujah for showing your great kindness when we were like cities under attack. Many of your people have been under attack by the enemy. And we thank you, Father, ahead of time for your protection now and for your protection ahead of time, Lord God. Protect us from their gossip. Protect us, Lord God, from their vicious attack. 
We felt terrified for those who walk in spiritual realms. Those who come into dreams and visions. Those who are used by the enemy. Practicing witchcraft. Traveling in the spirit. And not even by the will of God. Not even doing the will of God. But traveling in the spirit. To tell somebody something. To go off on somebody. To put someone in their place. By the flesh. Even if it's in the spirit realm. It's a spirit of pride. It's a witchcraft spirit. It's a controlling spirit. Spirits that try to use shame and guilt and manipulation. Turning the tables on people to try to get them to do what they want them to do. Even some who call themselves leaders. Manipulation and control isn't being a leader. Even if they are a title of a leader. Even if they have spiritual leadership. That's the spirit of witchcraft. Control and manipulation is not supposed to be in the head of the body of Christ. Or any leader, church leader. Submission is yes. That is required. That's one thing. But submitting to those under leadership is different from leadership controlling actually controlling people so lord god we pray that the parts of those who try to even control your children lord god deal with them father in the name of jesus keep them far from your people Thank you, Lord God. We praise you, Lord, for showing kindness when we are under attack. We thank you, Lord God, that you that you kept them away from us. We thank you, Lord God, that when we shout for help, that you will help us. We belong to you, Lord. And all who belongs to you, you show how you love us. Father, protect the faithful. And punish those who are proud. Punish those who are doing wicked. Keep the wicked far from us, Father. All who trust in the Lord, be cheerful and strong. Lord, you said in your word, when the enemy comes in like a flood, you will raise a standard against him. Lord God, we are living this, this word according to, to you, holy and by faith. Cover us, Lord God. Keep us, Lord God. You know, even I just think about, you know, just things that happen and how people will protect, you know, those who are doing wrong. I don't know what that is, but it's like people will actually protect those and say, oh, you, you're making a big deal out of something that they've done. And, you know, you you're um you're you're looking for fault or you're a bad person for feeling upset about this thing and someone could be completely in the wrong and they people are quick to tear those who are upset or hurt down as if they have absolutely no reason to hurt and like they want to control how you feel and you're bad for having actual feelings the Bible didn't say we can have feelings. That's a lie. That's a lie. God knows we will not always be happy about things that people do. When you set boundaries and people cross those boundaries. And you're, you're like, look, this isn't cool. 
You get persecuted for that. Sometimes in the church, I think sometimes the church got it wrong. Sometimes the church is so imbalanced. Even if we're like spiritual family and we're supposed to be like family, it doesn't mean boundaries have to be crossed. God didn't, we, that's crazy. Even in regular families, we need boundaries. That's utterly ridiculous. The things that go on in the body of Christ. Boundaries should not be crossed. People should not be trying to control people. We are all in God's body to, to encourage each other, to strengthen each other. And I'm, I'm sorry, but if you, you see someone seeing somebody getting blessed, somebody being joyous and happy, and, and God saying, oh, this person's about to get this. And then next thing you know, somebody's trying to meddle into that. And nobody thinks, hey, let God work in this person. <laughs> Don't meddle in what God is doing. Don't you go in there trying to, unless God actually talk to you. Don't go in there trying to fix things. And then never know what people's motives are and that's another day Lord God Jesus sometimes we feel like David surrounded by wickedness and threatened by destruction of our life David cried out saying enemies are all around like a herd of wild bulls my enemies are like lions roaring and attacking with jaws Open wide. <laughs> I have no more strength than a few drops of water. On my bones are out of joint. My heart is like melted wax. My strength have dried up like a broken clay pot. And my tongue sticks to the root of my mouth. You, God, have left me to die in the dirt. Brutal enemies attack me like a pack of dogs. It can feel that way sometimes. Tearing at my hands and my feet, I can count all my bones and my enemies just stare and sneer at me. Don't stay far away, Lord God. Lord has literally seen all that the enemy have done to me. And still doing little petty things. But like David, we know this one thing. Our strength comes from you, Father. So help us. Hurry and help us. Fight on our behalf, Father. Our enemies have been laughing and mocking us for years. I don't know about anybody else, but have you had some enemies who seem to be following you around? <laughs> you could be literally minding your business, serving God, and somehow these people will seek you out. And then they'll tell the new people that you're surrounded by. Oh, this person's this. And you, you haven't done anything to them. They're just jealous and hateful people. But because they can't manipulate you. And you call them on their bluff. And they felt embarrassed about it. They want to go, go, oh. It's, this person tried to make me look bad. I'm just a good man. I'm just a good person. I didn't do anything to this person. In all the years of knowing them, I've just been such a great friend. I mean, people will always want to paint a better picture of themselves. And all you can do is just sit back and watch. And you could fight in the spirit. Because their weapons will not work. Their lies will not work. It will fall down to the ground and absolutely become nothing. Their plans and plots will not work. 
because God has something better for us. And if the new people believe it, then so believe it. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to tell them these people are like, you know, it's, it doesn't even matter because people are going to believe what they want to believe. People will believe, they'll rather believe that about you. Because <laughs> nobody want to believe, oh, <laughs> this person who's absolutely did nothing and didn't start any problems, all their enemies are just coming after them. So we're going to say that you came after the enemy. People always want to play the victim when they've been the one doing the wrong. But it's okay because God knows and sees all. But God, that's why we're laying this before your feet. That our enemies, those who plotting against us, who have dug ditches for us, who have lied on us, You know, and when you're dealing with this kind of thing, God, that sometimes it's like people will sit up here and say, oh, you need to be sitting in one church. But if a church isn't accepting you and the people are literally turning their backs on you, you're not in the right place. You've got to be where you're celebrated. Why would you want to be somewhere where people are literally looking at you as if you're doing wrong. I know one time I went to a church, saints of God, I went to a church where the people were mad and said, oh, I'm trying to outdo them. Because I'm, I'm a person who's zealous for the things of God. But I don't have that kind of mindset like I'm out to outshine anybody. I don't even think that way. I'm literally like, oh, I want to do this for the church. Oh, I love the church. I want to do this for God. They got mad because I created t-shirts for the youth department. They got mad because I I tried to create a, a website for the, the church. They got but God was still there for me. And he turned things around for my good. And when those moments come, when you feel there's a whole church against you, and there is a whole entire church that's not embracing you, that is the wrong place for you. Because we are also responsible for where we are supposed to be. It doesn't matter if people say you're church hopping. It doesn't matter. You're not, they can't put you to shame. Because if people really actually paid attention to how they treated you, they know they did not treat you well. But that was not the right place because you're responsible for where you're going to grow. Go be where people actually celebrate you. Where people actually um, want to see God's goodness in your life. Where people are actually concerned about you and praying for you. Go where you're celebrated. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So we thank you, Lord God, we listen, for listening to our prayers. We thank you, Lord God, that you're overthrowing all those who set a dish for us, who set pits for us to fall into. You know, return those things back to those who send it to us. It's okay to say return it to sender. Those who plot against us, when you read in the book, in the Bible of Ruth, is it Ruth? No, it wasn't Ruth. It was the, the other woman. When you read in the Bible about how Mordecai was being set up, how the children of Israel was being set up 
then you know that the very, very gallows, the the death sentence that was supposed to be, they sent for the children of God, was actually returned upon the head of the man that started the whole problem. And so it returned on his head. He's the one that ended up in the gallows. When the the king said for Daniel, Mesh, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, when they no, they put Daniel in the lion, but Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego they put in the fire. And even those who maybe not the king or those who who charged for the, those people to do it but the people who actually physically put them there they burned to death and not one hair of their head was singed not one hair they didn't smell like smoke their skin was not burned. Their hair was not burned. Father, may we not come out smelling like everything that the enemy tried to put us through. All the things that we have endured. All the adversity that we have experienced. Chase away all those who cruelly lied Keep them away. Let everything that they've tried to do to us come back on their head. Father, and we praise you and we will live like you because we want to live right and live holy before your name. So we thank God, we give God glory, saints of God, on today. You know, it may sound crazy, but God don't want our enemies to succeed over us. And we are to fight in the spirit. And we are to ask God to fight on our behalf. Because he said, vengeance is his. You know, many times saints think that we're supposed to really just take all these punches by the devil and just sit there. But no, he told us to put on the whole armor of God. We're supposed to fight the good fight of faith. We pray and war in the spirit as our heavenly father is there fighting for us. So know that God loves you and those who are in the war. Stay strong, be steadfast, immovable, and unshakable. If there's anyone who wants to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead on the third day. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and come into my life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And know that God loves each and every one of you. All those who receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, know that he is rooting for you. Those who are... um, Oh, and go to a Pentecostal church and get water baptized. And also stay and ask for prayer for the gift of the Holy Spirit. And the gift of tongues. Until next time. God bless everyone.